2,000 years ago, there were a group of Greek philosophers called the Pythagoreans. And they worked out the laws of harmony on a violin string. They realized if you take a violin string and you looked at the resonance of it, the resonances corresponded to integers, and they were marveled that music could be explained in terms of a vibrating string. And they then said that perhaps the universe could be explained by the laws of harmony. We now believe that we can revive the thoughts of the early Pythagoreans and explain the universe through vibrating superstrings. Some people say, you know, Professor, when I see a chair, I know what a chair is, I can feel a chair, touch a chair, but you physicists, when you talk about strings, what the hell is that? Well, yes, we are all agreed what a chair is. The chair has four legs, and it's made out of wood or metal, and it has atoms inside. However, what makes up the atoms? Well, if you look inside the atoms, there's electrons whizzing around the nucleus. Well, what are they made out of? You can smash them apart. Inside the nucleus, there are uh, protons and neutrons. Well, we've smashed them. What's inside neutrons and protons? Well, we think there's something called quarks. Well, does it stop there? Does it stop at the quarks? We now believe that if you had a microscope and could look at the quarks themselves, you would realize that they are nothing but little loops. Little tiny vibrating loops vibrating at a certain mode. And if you whacked it hard enough, it would turn into an electron. And if you whacked it hard enough, again, it would turn into light. So in other words, we're talking about an elemental uber form of matter. One object, such that if it simply vibrates in a different way, it can create all the things we see around us. Therefore, instead of having this whole zoo of subatomic particles, you just have the string. However, this theory had a very big defect, a defect so great that it led to the near death of this theory. This theory predicts that the universe exists in 10-dimensional hyperspace. And I remember the very instant that was worked out in the early 70s. At that point, the cynics said, this is Star Trek. Beam me up, Scotty. I mean, you want us to believe that there are hidden dimensions out there? just like the mystics used to talk about ghosts and demons in higher dimensional space, we were laughed at. It was very hard for us physicists to get jobs. People were saying, this is science fiction. This is not physics. We're talking about a theory of everything based on 10-dimensional hyperspace? Come on. Well, we had the last laugh. Because now, string theory is taught in all the major universities. All the Ivy League schools are scrambling to hire string theorists. And we now believe that the mind of God, the mind of God is music resonating through 10-dimensional hyperspace.